Uh, my video stopped. Okay, we'll try it again. So here's the passenger side tensioner. You'll see now how you re if you were going to reuse this, you pull this little tab, push it down, and then put the lock pin into this hole, and it kind of holds it so you can install it. But again, this shouldn't be a nice ratcheting motion, and it's oil driven. Now, the driver's side has a gasket that you must replace. It's non-reusable. Um, this gets installed here, like so, and then it bolts into the engine. Again, it's oil driven. Now, there's a problem. This is the one with the TSB in Europe that needs to be replaced because of uh, ticking noises or whatever. If you try to compress this one, I can't do it. It won't go down any more than that. So there's definitely something wrong with this one internally. Maybe in a vice it'll unleash. I'll try it in a vice and see what happens. But that is not normal. You'll see, here's this little pin I was talking about. Here's the brand new one. And then obviously you can retract it all the way back in without a problem. So unfortunately, if you want to replace this on yours, you know, it's 10 hours or whatever to take everything apart just to replace this little stupid tensioner. But yeah, there's something definitely messed up with that thing. Ugh. Okay, that's all. Um, maybe I'll do another video, I'm not sure. This is kind of the complicated part. Um, as far as the timing cover, maybe I'll do one on that because that's tricky and you don't want leaks. So stay tuned, it'll be next video.